so this is probably the first official more productive grocery haul I've done in a while but it didn't really feel productive but whatever all right I'm gonna get into this a lot of this is kind of just some stock up things that I noticed we were running low on I went to Walmart today is the 26th and I went there specifically for something and this is the second third year in a row that two days before Christmas they have a bazillion of these but the day after Christmas, they have absolutely zero on the shelves. And there's just a little bit of me that is suspicious about that. About the fact that there is a bazillion of those razors on the shelves. But the day after Christmas, there's zero. It's just a little suspicious to me. Nope. Not even a tag for it. I knew exactly where they were. And everything else that they moved to the other place, they had a bunch of other things. Zero of those. Okay. Toilet paper has gone up two dollars since the last time I purchased it here. That was lovely. Paper towels. I'm really hoping that this is the year we can cut this out of our rotation, but I am not in charge of this purchase. I'll do it because I'm requested. So alright, we found some meat on sale. This is actually one of the reasons I needed to go today. We did not have any beef, and there was a request for beef. So, this is the cheapest I could find. This is 80 lean, 20 fat. And I believe this ended up being about $3.34 a pound. I, I would have to uh, recalculate it, but, or you can do it. It's 4.5 pounds, fourteen seventy four. I grabbed both. The seventy three twenty seven. Ended up being only two or three cents a pound cheaper. So I did this. We picked up one of these to put in um, next time we make bone broth. This makes really, really good bone broth. And very gelatinous, which is my husband's complaint with my last couple bone broths, is that they are not full of gelatin. So I thought I'd do that. This was also on sale. This ends up being three eighty six a pound. So I thought, okay, I'll do that with some stir fry actually thinking about making some fajitas with that I grabbed another uh, thing of trash bag um, I picked up some more of these peppers I think she rang them up as poblanos I don't think they're poblanos I believe they're something else and I can't think of the name um, I think it starts with an H but these are what I use to make the uh, chili ranos it's very simple not a, a normal chili reno but um yeah last time I made it it went so fast and my husband didn't get any so I thought I'd grab it for that three pounds for four dollars so grab some of those I am out of diced tomatoes I have some that we've canned but only like three or four jars so I picked up a couple of these of uh, these are the Italian and these ones mainly for our tomato soup so this is a fire roasted diced tomatoes so I used that in our tomato soup and I grabbed two more tomato pastes. Uh, this was free on Ibotta and I was shaking hungry in the store so I grabbed it. They had a couple other free Ibotta things but our store was completely out. One of them being a milk and our store was completely out. I could not get a whole milk. I could not get almost any of the nut milks or plant based milks. I did get a 2% for the um, baby that I watch. He's off of formula and onto milk, and I was there, so I grabbed it for his mom. Um, I've been trying to get away from these, but these are really helpful when I'm cooking with aluminum um, for, like, gifts and whatnot. So I try to make, like, little uh, treats to give to the uh, people that work the mobile food pantry. And if I you know, kind of spray it, or, excuse me, it's spraying it, it, it's easier because it doesn't distort the aluminum as easily as something like trying to butter it or oil it myself. So, and then sometimes I use these, um, like, on, um, to spray on top of, like, sweet potato fries because it doesn't get as saturated. It's more of a, a light spray, and it works better that way. So these should last me a year. The last two I bought lasted me about a year. I think actually a little bit longer, so that was great. Eggs are ridiculous. Um, 18 count was uh, $6, 
and my Amish lady, um, I didn't have any cash to stop by her house. Um, I, I'm hoping to get there, but she's also been pretty out of it. Um, I have two other sources that I'm going to look into because I, I can't afford that. And we go through so many eggs, um, especially when we're being more strict about like the carb intake we take in and all that. So, whew, these were, I don't remember. I have, talking about carb and, and gluten free, I have two of these to make a couple of quiches before I saw the price of eggs and I just forgot to take them out of my cart. So I'll probably just throw that into the freezer or even give it to my sister and see if that's something she can use. Um, I bought a how to buy one, get one free. Uh, we've been going through a lot of tea lately. Usually our, um, like, uh, oh, the traditional medicines one are the ones that we go through so quickly. Um, but also just to kind of keep us warm, we've been going through other ones and these were, ended up being about a dollar a box and I thought that might be a fun treat. So grab that. I believe it contains ginger. I don't know what all of that is. Luhan Guo. Hmm. But uh, chicory. Chicory is a good one. I like chicory. That's supposedly like a coffee substitute. So there we go. Um, I really want to make uh, applesauce like what you buy in the store. Um, my kids tend to prefer that rather than the more apple butter like thing we have. And from what I see, the key to that is using apple juice. So I'm going to try some of that. We always do orange juice uh, for Christmas breakfast, but I could not get any this year. When I was at Kroger the other day, um, almost everything was wiped out. And I mainly went for um, a couple things like this. And orange juice, there was none. This is the pretty much the only one that Walmart had that was anywhere near affordable, so we'll use that as a treat. I've got three bags of the lightly salted chips. I'll get to this in a minute. I picked up some of our baking chips and I'll just throw these in the freezer because this, um, this is more just to kind of, again, stock up. I have two spices here, nutmeg and allspice. I'm pretty low on that. I grabbed this. Um, just to do something simple, we're kind of turkeyed out, but I have like one more meal of turkey, and so I knew that this would go well, so I'm going to make uh, turkey salad roll-ups, and I think that will be something everybody enjoys, and then we can use up the rest of the turkey. I have some corn tortillas. I have a white and a yellow. This, I'm going to try this for the um, chili ranos. This is about a dollar cheaper. Um, than the queso fresco. I've never actually seen this, so I'm hoping it works just as well. We'll see. Um, my husband wanted this. My son purchased it, um, like a month ago, and my husband, um, was looking into it and then was pleasantly surprised by it, I guess. Um, so he picked up that. Okay, stock up. I have some quart freezer bags and some gallon freezer bags. Um, this I picked up, there's 12 here, which would give all of us one and then all of the kids another one. This is actually going to go into the car because I realized I have just a few in there, not enough for everybody, and I try to keep that stocked up in case something were to happen and I'm stuck in a car. I have four macaroni and cheese here. These are mainly for kids I babysit. So... Um, people are like, well, how much does that play into your grocery total? This was 43 cents each, so we'll say um, $2 here, and that was two eighteen, dollars so less than $5. Um, I have some granola here. Oh, I'm sorry. This was in the clearance for a dollar or something, so I grabbed this. This has um, some more natural ingredients. And then... I picked up all that I could find of the gluten-free penne. So there was four boxes here. Each box is $2.50. That's all I could find. And Walmart tends to be most almost always out of the gluten-free pasta. So it's always good if I can pick it up. These were on clearance for $1.50. So I just grabbed these as our Sunday you need to eat something and head out the door. 
um, that I think ended up being cheaper than trying to do bars, so I was like, you know what, we'll just run with that. Um, for, whoops, this is, this is wine. This is for my husband and I. We have been, the last couple of bottles we've got have just been a stronger wine, and we're definitely more of a sweeter wine. So, we kind of want something that we normally have. And then I have three of these sparkling drinks for New Year's. I don't normally do that, but I thought it would be kind of fun this year. And then I have two olive oils right here because I am low. So one for now, one for later. This was um, our Clarence, and this is part of the 50% off, I believe. These were $4.99, so 50% off was $2.50. I have one that my daughter got in a white elephant last year, and I use it, but it takes me hours to make waffles for everybody, and it's really fun. They're really fun waffles, so I decided to get two, and then we can just have two going um, at a time. A full waffle thing is just out of our budget right now. All right, so then I'm going to come circle around to this. These were $0.30 cents a piece, $0.32 cents a piece to be exact. They are the Smart Taste Spaghetti Noodles, 30, 60, 90, 120, 240, 360. So it's $3.60 right here. And I'm going to actually take these to the food pantry. It's for $3.60. I can definitely afford that and kind of give back as to what they have given to me. And it was just something that um, trying to find a, a deal like that is was amazing, and I was really happy about that. I didn't purchase them all. It looks like a pretty good stack here, but I wanted to make sure that anybody that still needed some uh, could have it. I know we're all trying to pinch pennies, so no, I did not wipe out the shelf. There was probably twice as much as I have here still there. Okay, so the grand total for this was $273. I have a lot of stuff here that I'm going to be using. We're trying to go into the um, Eat Your Pantry Challenge with Three Rivers Homestead. I've pretty much been trying to do do that since um, um, the beginning of October, September, October. I think mainly October. So the last three months I've been really trying to do that. Obviously we had to replenish it, replenish a little bit here and there. Um, but I've been really trying to do that. Um, as you can see, I've used up most of my beef in the freezer. So I have a little bit more um, here already. My husband's like, I'm going to be making some um, hamburgers. He's really, really been inhaling the beef lately. Um, so I know his body just really needs it. And I'm trying to make sure that I am um, on top of giving that to him. Um, some of the stuff, like I said, I needed to just make sure that we have some, um, especially we just went through that w blizzard. I, I actually had to drive two and a half hours through that blizzard. It took me seven hours to get home. I never want to have to deal with that again. So having something like this means that I don't have to go out anywhere. Anything like this, that would be amazing. Um, that was really terrifying. And I will even use a word that I don't normally use. It was a little traumatic. Um, I have never cried or prayed so hard in my life. So staying home and being away from that is my absolute um, desire. And I believe that... Uh, there's talk of another one blowing in. So, not sure if it's true. I'm just going by hearsay from what locals have said. So, I, I cannot um, confirm if that's accurate. So, most of what I have here is just stuff to kind of keep us through. We have plenty of, like, canned soups that we can heat up over a fire if need be. Um, but, yeah, just kind of keeping, keeping things clean. All right. Um... I think that's everything. I haven't really done a grocery haul in a while, so I feel a little bit out of um, practice. But now i got to go put all this away, and I will see you in the next video. I want to thank those of you that have really um, looked out for our family and blessed our family. It's meant a lot, and I appreciate you, and I thank you, and I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, and um, have a great new year.